Welcome to Cooking with Andrea. Today we are going to be doing our beer can chicken. It's kind of funny. I didn't have cans of uh, the beer I wanted to use, so I emptied one of my husband's, and I'm going to pour this beer in when it's time. This is the one I use for my beer, beer battered chicken, my beer battered fish. I'm not a connoisseur on wine or beer. I'm learning. I'm watching a few of my people on YouTube. Boy, they really know their stuff. They have cocktails. It's awesome. Um, there's quite a few of you guys that can pair things real well. I'm not that suave. I'm going to keep watching you. So uh, with my beer can chicken, I made my own beer can chicken rub because we had bought one. It was delicious, but it was missing something. It didn't have enough pepper in it, in my opinion. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to marinate or we're going to rub this in a few minutes. Two things that I want to, or three things I want to talk about before we actually do that. I went ahead, cut the corn. I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator until I'm ready to go. Then I took my uh, little potatoes here and they are just a trio, which I love them. They're the perfect size and I got a really good deal. Washed them already. Uh, that's why I have them on the plate. They're dripping. So what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to parboil in the house. Then what I'm going to do is take them out to the grill and we're going to smash them and put garlic butter. So what I'm going to do is take this butter right now and I'm going to put it in my microwave so it can um, get nice and soft. Then what I'm going to do is drop my garlic in there and just let it infuse and then when it's time like i said parboil put them on my little grill smash them i'm going to pour butter and thyme i have one teaspoon of thyme so it'll be garlic butter and thyme for my potatoes and just straight butter for my corn and then now my chicken so as soon as that's melted i am going to Take it out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to mix everything because I don't want to touch the chicken and then touch everything else and contaminate everything. So, what I'm going to do, I've already washed everything, including my chicken, and uh, dried everything the best I could. I had the chicken standing up in one of my bowls so that it wouldn't be yucky, oozing blood all over the joints. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just put the four cloves of garlic in and I just sliced it because I just want to infuse and if a few, uh, if they fall on the potatoes, they'll be fine. I just don't want them covered in it. I'm not going to use the thyme though until it's time to uh, put this on the potato and then we'll just flavor it that way. Okay, so this is my butter garlic. This is how it's looking. Oops. Boy, I got issues throwing stuff on the counter. Okay, we're going to start with the chicken. Okay, so we're just going to go hands-on. I've explained everything. We're going to let this rest after I go ahead and uh, rub it down. We're going to let it sit for a couple hours, and then that's when we're going to come back. By that time, I'll have potatoes boiled and stuff set up, and we'll go from there. But just wanted to let you know. So I'm going to start with the cavity. Lots in the cavity. Let me take, let me do this right. I'm gonna take and use my paper towel, but I always wash my, um, my, cause I'm a very hands-on cooking person. So I have to wash everything I use, you know? Oh man, my chicken, he's a big fat chicken, which is good. I need to feed three of us. This is gonna be enough to feed us all. And I'm just gonna rub it in there. Oh, I'm gonna put my direction for my rub. Um, in the description box. It's good. I love my rub. It's really good. It has a little bit more. One thing I like about when you make your own rub is you can make it exactly how you and your family like it. Oh my gosh, it's good. It has just a little bit more heat in it and it's not heat from chili. It's actually heat from black pepper. See all that black pepper? Sometimes I feel they don't put enough black pepper on uh, things. Okay, let's get some more in here. Can't have too much. I can make more. And it will taste delicious. Okay, so we're just going to go like that. Now we're going to get in here. But you got to rub it in. And you got to check it yourself. <clears throat> Look at that. Looks fantastic. I don't know if you can see in there, but there is a lot of seasoning in there. 
And then what I'm going to do is get it all over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put some underneath. If I can get in it. Oh, no. It's not going to let me in there this time. That's fine. I like it better when it's not because then my breast will be more juicy, in my opinion. I just love doing this kind of stuff. I love going to the grill. Last night, boy, we did grilled tilapia with onions and um, uh, lemon, and it was just great on the grill. I just love using the grill. Love the trigger. The trigger is my favorite thing. That's my smoker. I love to smoke meats, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pick this up again, and now I'm going to leave it alone, but I am going to season it one more time when I put it on because I just love when the seasoning gets all over and in and like I said it's really important for it to be in here but the chicken's gonna taste fantastic and okay so beer can chicken you can use anything you want you can use beer we've done Dr. Pepper we've done Coca-Cola we've done beer before we did just a plain old uh, Coors Light because that's what my husband drinks and uh, we've done a couple other beers you know and you can use anything you want like I said if you don't have beer on hand Use uh, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, you'll be fine. Everything will be great. And it will still taste good. It's more the fact that it's out on the grill and it's got moisture in it, in my opinion. Uh, the Dr. Pepper, though, does bring a little bit more, I thought, because of the sweet, the Dr. Pepper uh, did even more so than the Coke. And I'm a Coke drinker. I don't really care for Dr. Pepper, but I have to admit it was really good. Okay, so now we're going to let the chicken just sit and marinate for a couple hours. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, our chicken has rested. I went ahead and I took and opened the bottle of beer and I went ahead and poured it in because I am not always the most talented person. Thank God it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, with my luck, I'm gonna dump the chicken and the beer's gonna fall over and all that good stuff. I'm gonna wash my hands here. I'm a bleach freak, so I just washed my hands and dumped them in the bleach and then wiped them off because I am a bleach freak. Um, so our chicken is beautiful. It is ready to go. It's seasoned. Everything is gorgeous. The beer is in. Used almost all the beer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the grill and we're going to put our chicken on. So here we go. Okay, here we are. Our beautiful beer can chicken is on the grill. We are good to go. So we're just gonna put it down. It'll probably take almost two hours to cook or an hour and 30 minutes. We'll go ahead and we will check the internal temperature. We're gonna stick the probe in right now and get that all hooked up. We'll be back. Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to go out and check our um, beer can chicken, but I just wanted to let you know it's time to put the potatoes in because they'll take about 15 minutes to boil. Um, like I said, I want to parboil or pre-boil um, and then I will go ahead and smash out there after I put them on the grill a little bit. So we're going to go ahead, go out there and check that. And we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, here we are. Okay, our chicken's in, we're doing great. Our temp is almost there. And look at it. it's ready, it's ready. We're gonna go about three, four more degrees, but otherwise it is ready. Ready, ready, ready. Absolutely gorgeous. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring the potatoes out and we'll be back. Welcome back. Okay, we got our beautiful little potatoes. They are already roasted, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, boiled. Now we're gonna go put them out on the grill, but I'm gonna finish smashing them. And then what we're gonna do is each time I smash them, we're gonna put them in our pan, just like we did that one. I have this one over here closer to me. Boy, though, that is warm. Super, super hot little potatoes. But I'm just gonna stuff them in like that. One more will make him fit. I love the purple ones, they're so cool. 
I love potatoes, so that's one of my favorite foods, though. Um, so I already put some uh, thyme on these. You see right here? I don't want to put too much. That's why I always measure out my seasonings. I can always put it back or throw it away if I don't use it, you know. Uh, but I'd rather have... I can add more to the top, too, if I think it's not enough after everything is cooked. That's another thing I like. But I'd rather not ruin a dish. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of butter. Just going to go by. Just want it to cook in the bottom and coat them. I'll give them a nice little, uh, you know, a little bit more butter after they're done. But I just want them to be nice and flavorful. And remember, I have my uh, garlic in here, and that garlic is sliced. So even when I take these out, it'll be nice, because then I'll take them out, let them rest for a minute, and then just put the rest of that butter on there, and the garlic's just gonna, it's so flavorful. So now we're gonna go back to the grill. We'll be back. Welcome back. Dinner is done. It's time to eat. Well, we're gonna start off with our beautiful corn, because we're saving our chicken for last that's the bomb so we got some corn and then we got some beautiful macaroni salad i made yesterday we're going to enjoy that tonight with dinner and then i got to show you the little prize potatoes here the potatoes actually came out super delish i tried one a little bit ago and they came out fantastic i'm gonna flip it over it's all nice and got that garlic butter and thyme on there and then the star is here. Look at my beautiful, beautiful beer can check chicken. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a big chicken too. Um, he came out perfect. I love the skin this way. You know, you can clip the tips. I don't clip the tips. I leave them on because this will also tell me how done my bird is. I check my internal temp. My internal temp is 169. It is perfect. I just super delicious. I already stole a piece from inside, you know, picking at it so nobody could see. But look at this beautiful chicken. Beer can chicken. Um, you can use any kind of beer you want. I used a uh, Dos Equis, the one I used from um, my other chicken that I use. I like that, that uh, beer for it. Uh, I'm not a big old connoisseur either, though. I'm learning. That's why I'm doing it. Like I said, I did Dr. Pepper and Coca-Cola. Perfectly fine. If you like the content, if you would please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, I'd be so grateful. I want to thank all the subscribers uh, today and every day that I got them. Um, I also want to thank all our service men and women. Say thank you. God bless you all. God bless America. And God bless all of you guys. I'll see you next week.